I'd like to talk to you about my 2006 Maserati Quattro Porte with an F1 dual select sequential manual transmission. First thing I want to talk about is how much of this car is actually Ferrari, which is all of it. The body is made by Pinin Farina, which is Ferrari's design house. The Pina Farina design is so beautiful and timeless that many consider this the most beautiful Quattro Porte that has ever been produced. The interior gives a lot of thought to style and comfort. It is appealing to the eye and to your body. And you will literally just melt into this car and become part of it. Although this is the fifth generation of the Maserati Quattro Porte, it is the first Quattro Porte that was created during the short time that Maserati owned Ferrari. Among Ferrari and Maserati enthusiasts alike, it is widely recognized as the first Ferrari sedan. The engine is the Ferrari F136 4.2 liter naturally aspirated V8. Known as the Tipo F136 family of motors and also known as the Ferrari Maserati engine. This engine type is found in the Ferrari F430 California and 458 models. The Quattro Porte uses the Skyhook suspension system. The Skyhook system monitors several parameters and has variable dampening, so it is constantly adapting to road condition, acceleration, braking, and cornering. This is one of the factors that makes this car so great to drive. Similar active dampening systems are available on many high-end vehicles. I have driven my Quattro Porte for six hours straight and can't recall a vehicle I have enjoyed driving as much. So finally, we get to the controversial part of this car, the F1 sequential manual transmission. Maserati called it the dual select. Your shifter has forward and reverse. There are paddle shifters on the steering column for manual shifting. It has full automatic options, normal and sport modes. The normal and sport modes apply to both full automatic and to manual paddle shifting. This is where most people say that the car is shite. They complain about rough rides and premature clutch wear. For most people, this is what makes this car undesirable. But what is really going on here? This transmission is used in the Ferrari F355, the BMW M3, the Lamborghini Gallardo, and Aventador. It is also used in the first generation Audi R8. The transmission is not the problem. People have found that if you drive it like a supercar and manually shift with the power shifters, the clutch does not wear out prematurely. The problem is when you take a car that was made to move and you drive it like a river barge. Put the transmission in full automatic mode and drive like a granny and yes, you burn out your clutch. The electronic controls and throttle response were just not fast enough to match what the F1 transmission wants to do. So drive it hard and fast and always manual shift. It's fun, but not always practical. So problem was, oh yeah, electronic controls and throttle response not quite fast enough. So let's say you bought one of these used on auction like I did, got a super good deal on it, and then found out about the F1 transmission. Are you gonna cry foul? 
badmouth Maserati and flog the car off on the first unsuspecting buyer? Or are you going to look for a solution? There is a solution to this problem. I got extremely lucky because I bought a Maserati with 22 inch engineered Bozen CVT rims. The car was lowered a little too using the coilovers on the skyhook system to adjust the height. But the previous owner didn't stop there. I was looking in this panel under the passenger's floor mat and wondering what these two little black switches with a little white dot on one side were. I searched the internet and finally found a picture that matched what I was looking at. Formula Dynamics makes a drive-by-wire upgrade specifically for the Maserati Quattroporte. Along with that, they also have a high power ECM performance chip. These two upgrades combined cost $3,200 US. You can do the install yourself or you can spend another thousand and let a pro do it for you. The drive-by-wire module fixes the slow shifting issue. Now if you want to drive in full automatic, you can do so without worrying about your clutch wearing out prematurely. If you choose to shift using the paddle shifters, it's noticeably faster and smoother. The ECM performance chip improves horsepower and torque, giving smoother acceleration and an improved throttle response. The two combined, in my opinion, make this car the best choice. You can pick one up cheap, spend the money on some useful upgrades, and walk away with one of the most amazing cars ever made.